Hey guys, thank you for watching. During this video, I would uh, like to discuss with you how you can actually change a metadata property. Um, so we're going through uh, a way to set the, uh, a different business key to uh, adjust or change the processing method because we have four processing methods over here. Uh, you can read about them. Uh, this script is, by the way, uh, included in the download package. Um, so let's zoom in on the customer table of AdventureWorks. Um, it's currently set for inserts, updates, and deletes. And I'm going to uh, update the processing method and setting it to inserts only, which means that it's actually going to um, insert data or based on the business key, because the business key will then be hashed into a hash key. And if that hash key doesn't exist in the target table, then it's inserted. So that's basically what insert up, inserts only um, does. So I'm going to run this uh, update statement. I'm also setting the modify date to uh, the UTC date because uh, triggers aren't yet supported in Microsoft Fabric. So normally there should be a table trigger doing that. But in the end, I do want to see uh, that it's actually been modified. I'll give it a few more seconds. Um, so. As soon as that one is completed, uh, on the left side, you can see that the um, customer table has also a main, an insert, an update, and a delete store procedure, and also a current, deleted, and a latest view. So we just switched to insert only. So the deleted store procedure and the update store procedure, they should be gone afterwards, and also the deleted and the latest view, they shouldn't be in there anymore. Um, okay, so we did update the statement. We're going to run the regenerate single object. Um, it's called regenerate. So it's actually performing a drop and then a generate. So to be idempotent. And idempotent simply means that you can rerun things every time and it shouldn't fail. And you can see in here in the, in the prints, it's actually dropping everything, including the delete store procedure. Um, Fabric did notice a uh, structural schema change. So it's now refreshing uh, objects. It's a bit slow today, but I'm going to check if it's already completed with refreshing. In the meantime, um, this will show you something else. Um, you can also head over to the, uh, it's still in the preview guys, so no worries. You can go to the monkey data warehouse, data warehouse columns. And uh, you can see in here that, for example, the customer ID has an uh, integer data type, and you can use this uh, update statement to change it into a big int, for example. Or you can set the precision or the scale or the uh, length of a uh, far R column. Um, also set the modify date, and you can regenerate it again, basically with the same steps. So I'm just going to hit refresh right now, because I think that might help see if we can see that the list of uh, views and list of store procedures shrunk a little bit because that's what we want. Here we go. Okay, let's close this one up. Go to the schema again. AdventureWorks. And you can see there's a single current view and then the store procedures. Of course, the main and the merge, because it's doing a soft merge, so to say. And then after that, it inserts the newly found records uh, into the target table. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Just send me an email, um, and I'm happy to help. And for the rest of the day, have a nice day and enjoy it. Bye-bye.